everyone. Okay, so this is going to be my foundation routine. Keep in mind that this might be a lot of foundation to you, but to me it's just perfect, like a perfect amount. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this is me without any foundation. It might seem like a tiny difference or a huge difference, but um, yeah, my skin isn't the best right now. I've been breaking out since like March, more like than I usually break out because usually I just get like one or two pimples, the most that are noticeable. But now I started rain like my pimples started going on places that I never got in them before. So um, now I get them like nowhere farther than like I don't know. Usually I just I get tiny ones on my chin that I can just like you know easily hide them. And um, now I'm getting some like. On my cheek, like right here and then down. And um, same here. And then usually I just get my pimples from like, like my eyes to my temples up. And yeah, so it's been like a huge difference on where I've been getting my pimples lately. And yeah, so it can be my hormones and stuff, but I still haven't found like a great... Um, face wash so if you have one that you like and yeah just comment down below your favorite face wash because I would really appreciate it and um throughout my whole makeup experience I've been dealing with foundations that haven't really matched me so well but one that I recently gotten like since last year not fully I haven't had this for fully a year but I had it since last year and um, it's the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup. And it has a blemish treatment with salicylic acid. And it's a one fluid ounce. I've seen Megan Hart's makeup talk about this foundation. And I just wanted to get it. Because she made it sound really nice. And it's in Natural Beige number 60. And this foundation really gives me a nice coverage. Not a full coverage. But it's definitely like light to medium coverage and it doesn't necessarily hide my whole pimple area but it definitely calms down the redness and keep in mind that I don't wear foundation every day. The moisturizer that I currently use is a dual action moisturizer by Clean and Clear and I just pump out two pumps of this because a little goes a long way with it but I just need it and then I apply it to the places where I usually get dry patches and um I just blend it out and I make sure that I want to put this underneath my under eyes because lately with my concealer it makes it look really dry and patchy and that's not cute. So I'm just going to let this sink in for about 3 minutes and I'll be right back. So now that the moisturizer kind of sinked in I just go ahead and apply my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. And what I use this for is to minimize my pores. And I have really big pores on my nose. And I just kind of dab that and pat it around my nose where the pores are really noticeable. And I don't necessarily blend it in all the way because I still want that nice smooth look for my face and yeah so I just shake this up and then open it and this does not come with a pump so basically what I do is just put my finger like that and you want to make sure that your fingers are clean shake it up a little get some of the product and dot it around my face and sometimes I add a little bit more than usual Depends on how bad I'm breaking out, but I don't really need a lot today. And I kind of blend a little bit out on my forehead because I don't need that much coverage on there. And I really have like red scars around my lips, so I just like to put some of the foundation around there. And then 
to avoid adding a lot of concealer, I just apply some of the foundation, barely any, underneath my eyes. And then I go in with my Sigma um, F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I just dot it like so. And then blend it in. And the concealer that I've been using lately is the Maybelline Fit. I will just dab like a few dots of this if I do want like a really bright effect. And then I'm going to apply some to my problem areas right now. Round Foundation Brush by Borghese and I'm just blending it in with this brush and it's synthetic. So, in case you're wondering. Yeah, so now I'm taking this fluffy eye brush by Borghese and my Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder. You can see I hit pan. What a sad moment. And I just pat that underneath. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this Sigma Contour F40 brush and this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. I'm only using the bronzer because it's the only bronzer that I do use and I'm planning on getting the NYC Sunny Bronzer. So basically, what I do, I don't even suck in my cheeks anymore. I just got to the point where I just dusted on my face. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Giselle wears a lot of winged eyeliner. Well, for today, I'm not going to. Just because I don't want to waste my eyeliner when I'm not doing anything special. So I'm just going to be applying mascara. Okay, so that was my foundation routine. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you later.